Hi everybody, this is Rob Horlacher from Project Sandbox, a University of Lethbridge Library initiative. Um, this is the fifth video in a series of videos describing how to print at the University of Lethbridge. This video specifically is going to go over scanning. Prior to actually showing you how to scan a document, there's a couple things I should mention. The first of which is that the only people who can scan at the University of Lethbridge at the printers you find around campus are faculty, staff, and students. This is because you need a valid University of Lethbridge email address to do scanning. That being said, the second thing I want to tell you is be mindful of the file sizes that you create while scanning. If your file size of scanned documents exceeds your email's uh, maximum allowance of document sizes, it's potential that your scan could get dropped. With that being said, let's head over to one of the printers to begin to learn how to scan. So just like any printing you want to do at the library, the first thing you want to do if you want to scan a document is make sure you're at a printer that will accommodate you. Um, the three printers in the library that will actually do scanning for you is the one on level 11, just outside the Kerr Lab, um, level 9, and the one at level 10 north. The one at uh, level 10 south, unfortunately, doesn't have a scanner associated with it, so you won't be able to scan anything there. Um, so, to actually start scanning, the first thing you want to do, just like with everything, is you want to log on to the printer. So once you've chosen the printer you're going to use, you just want to swipe your card. This will bring you into the menu system that you want to look at. Um, from there you can see printing, copying, and scanning. Um, right now we want to choose scanning, but before we do that, if for some reason you get out of the screen, um, just remember if you hit the home button then print, copy, scan this will bring you back to the menu you want to be at. Um, so right now we want to scan. So after you hit the scan button, um, it'll bring you to the scanning screen. Um, as you can see, my start button's grayed out. That's because I'm using a Bridgebox card. Um, with your U of L ID, this won't be the case. So to scan your document, the first thing you want to do is open up the printer to where the scanning portion is. Um, once you're done with that, you want to grab your piece of paper um, and put it into the back left hand corner of the printer. You'll see a little arrow um, that will tell you where the corner of your paper should be. After your document's in the printer, you just want to close up the scanning portion. So after your document's in the printer, you just want to hit scan settings and make sure that all of your information is correct. Um, if this is getting scanned the way you want it to be scanned, you just hit OK and then you would just hit start in the bottom right hand corner. Unfortunately, mine's grayed out because I'm using a Bridgebox card. Um, if you have your U of L ID, you'll be able to hit start um, and it'll get sent to your email right away. So after you send your scan, the next thing that you'll want to do is just log out of the printer. So you'll hit print copy scan at the top. This will take you to the main menu, hit log out, hit okay, and then you're logged out again. Thank you for watching. Um, I would also like to thank Printing Services for looking over all of this information to make sure that it's still correct. I would also like to remind you that if you're interested in watching more library tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to learn more about printing, you can click on either one of the videos that are right on my right side. Once again, thank you very much for watching this and I hope you come back for more.